Good afternoon, this is N2LEN with another quick video clip. It is February 20th at 3.50, 3.49 p.m. Thursday afternoon. And uh, this video is going to be a quick video. Hopefully it'll answer a question that I received via email from one of my YouTube viewers and followers. Uh, I try my best to answer emails. Sometimes every now and then I'll get an email, and then there are times when I get uh, plenty of emails. And I do my best to answer what I can in a timely fashion. Um, so anyway, this particular gentleman reached out to me yesterday evening saying, Hey, Len, maybe you could uh, offer some uh, guidance. I'm looking at purchasing a Yesu FT-1000D. He's wanted one for years. How do I tell if this particular D that's advertised online is a true factory D, as opposed to one that was upgraded and made a D? And uh, how could I tell uh, by the serial number the year of production? Anyway, on all ft 1000 whether it's a 1000 or 1000D, there's no change in the lettering, the labeling on the front panel. Whether it's an FT1000 or if, an FT, if it's an FT1000D, D meaning deluxe, there's new, no D designation. Um, what is the difference between an FT1000 and an FT1000D? And D, once again, we'll say, you know, the Deluxe. Well, the Deluxe model had three additional filters. Uh, it had a uh, upgraded master oscillator, a TCX01. It had installed in the back was an optional bandpass filter unit, which was called the BPF-1 which was a drop-in slide console unit uh, that had an extra antenna connector, an SO239, a switchable end, uh, attenuator. Uh, and that's basically it. Now, let me go ahead and show you. Now, this FT-1000D is a factory-made D. And it's also one of the very last production models. Now, the information that I sh I'm going to show you, and I, I took uh, all this information from the internet and I printed up printed up color sheets so I could so I could show you this. But let me show you now. The FT1000 uh, hit the market in 1989, and they were produced and I think manufactured until 2000, 2001, and the last remaining stock was sold around between 2002 and 2003. Now, if you ordered one from one of the major ham radio dealers and you ordered a D, a D from the factory, it would come in a box that looks just like this. And it had the D stamped on it. Now that's a factory stamp. Later units, that D was stamped in blue. So it was a blue D. But that's a factory box D. Now, what did the D look like as far as filter complements? It had those three extra filters. But if you see, it comes with seven filters with one optional filter remaining on the main IF board. And then on the side of the radio, there was a spot for a 250 hertz CW filter. When you flip the radio around, looking at it at the top, the standard oscillator was changed and upgraded to this oscillator, which is a plug-in unit. It was held in with screws. And then there is a, a three-wired snap-in plug and socket, the TCX01 high stability reference oscillator. 
On the back of the radio was the D model came with the BPF-1. You could see that it, it's a sub-RX attenuator switchable, and you had the sub-RX antenna uh, SO239 connector. And you could see on the bottom it says BPF-1. So those were the options that would come from the factory as a factory D, or if you purchased an FT-1000, you could add three optional filters, the TCX-01 and the BPF-1, and it would then have all the options that that 1000, FT-1000 would become a deluxe model, deluxe meeting with the extra options. Now, let me move these sheets out of the way and let's talk about the actual serial number tags. Now, the serial number tags on all of the FT-1000s from 1989 to the year 1999 were metal serial number tags. This one being a 5E44, which the number five designates the year of 1995. E is the designation for the month. And if I, if I believe correctly, the month started January with C. So this would be, let's say, a March 1995 revision. Here is a later model serial number tag, much later. Same serial metal tag, and this is an 8i. So this would be a 1998 mid, mid version year of 1998, much later. Now, if you notice on the serial number metal tags from 1989 to the year 1999, the serial number tags have the designation FT-1000. They do not say D. There's no designation until the year 2000. Now, let me show you the change. Okay, let me switch over this one. And here you go. The serial number tag changed from a metal tag to a paper sticker tag in the same spot. You'll now notice that it said FT-1000D. And the serial number series is an O-M. So this is 2000, um, more like a fall 2000 serial. These models that were made in the year 2000 were sold in 2000, 2001, 2002, even 2003. This is one that I just... Uh, found posted online, so I took it off on the uh, off of the internet. This my particular radio is also a zero with the sticker uh, that says FT one thousand D, and that's basically how you tell the difference in the designation from the old metal tag with the stamped embossed serial and the later version serial tag that was a sticker, and it says FT-1000D with an O starting serial number. So that's how you can designate if it's a factory D, and if you want to purchase one that was the late last of the production line. Ask the seller to show you a picture of the serial tag. A lot of people online comment, oh, it's the latest and greatest radio. Well, with the 1000D, you could ask to see that tag. And if it is the paper sticker serial number tag, it'll have that designation, FT1000D. And that will at least let the buyer know that you're buying a factory D. That was one of the last production models the latest production model before they stop selling them. Anyway, so that's about it. Hopefully that helps and clears up 
uh, some issues. Let me also say this. In the earlier revision 1000Ds or 1000s, the earlier revisions were, you know, were, were built with a ROM chip firmware. The latest and the last revision firmware, which was upgraded many years ago, is ROM version 6.0. Anything, if so if you do this, it's called the Vegas test. And the reason why they call it the Vegas test is because when you do the test, you know, the, the display flashes and then it'll tell you Yesu 5.98 or 6.0. The way that you do the Vegas test, and I don't have to show you, is basically you press the number one and the number three on the keyboard, I believe, and then you power up the radio while you're depressing those two buttons, and then you release them. The display will go, you know, will will circulate, and then it'll say Yesu 6.00. That's how you know you have the latest firmware ROM. It doesn't designate whether or not it's a deluxe model. The deluxe model states that it has those three optional filters, the TCXO and the BPF1 bandpass filter module in the back of the radio. Uh, what did that latest ROM, uh, the features include? Anything earlier than a version 6 did not have bi-directional cat control. So basically, it, when you're hooking the FT-1000D up to the computer, having 6.0 would give you uh, the correct data flow and the hardware, um, the flow control will be um, both ways. Um, it works very well with Ham Radio Deluxe if you have the right proper cat cable or you know which i built one many years ago it has the din the din jack on one end and a uh serial a serial db9 on the other um uh, you can buy them online uh company xcom if you don't have the latest revision rom chip if you don't have 6.0 i believe xcom.com carries them you could also do a google search for um yesu ft 1000 6.00 firmware and it'll you know it'll show you some information i don't believe there's any information that talks about the latest serial number so hopefully that answers the question of uh, my viewer, I wish you the best of luck once you check out this video. Hopefully, you'll have all your answers to your question. And I, if you do purchase that radio, uh, I wish you the very, very best of luck. One thing that's nice about the FT-1000 is so many of them were sold over 10 or 12 years. And they do have a tendency because they're over 25 years old uh they do break down but part availability on ebay uh, there are a lot of great reputable sellers on ebay that buy these rigs working in complete working condition and then they um pot them pot them out and sell them on ebay so with that say we'll say best seven threes take care and have a great day from n2 l e n Best seven three.